guys I'm coming at you live from my bathroom I'm gonna show y'all how I do my wash day routine I get a lot of questions about you know what I do how I apply the product so I figured I could make a video to show y'all what I do um, so this hair is probably like a week old no definition lots of frizz lots of tangles um, so I'm gonna show y'all how I use some of the curls products um, the reparative hair wash, the deep conditioner, and then I use the leave-in conditioner and the um, blueberry jelly. So yeah, if y'all want to see how I go from this to, um, you know, popping curls, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse my hair with this reparative hair wash. Okay, so the reason why I love this stuff is because it does um, lather. Um, and I feel like that, you know, moisturizes the curls a little bit better so that I can detangle with just this one product. So, okay, so I wet my hair. Um, and I'm going to take the product and I'm going to make sure that I focus it just on the roots for now because I'm just trying to make sure that I, um, you know, cleanse all that product buildup. Hmm? Like I said, just focus it on the roots. Okay, so if you feel like you need to add a little bit more, you can. My hair is pretty thick. So, sometimes I have to add a little bit more to the back. Okay, so now that I rinsed that out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna part my hair into two sections, just right down the middle. You know, don't have to be too precise. Just <clears throat> so just to make it easier, I'm gonna put this side in a little. And you could totally do all this in the shower, cause I do, but I'm just you know doing it for the video. So. I got my piece here, so I'm going to take some more of this. And I'm going to put it, you know, throughout the hair to help with this detangling process. Just a warning, my hair gets really, really tangled, especially if I wait a whole week to wash it. my comb okay so a little trick you never want to start at the top of your head you want to start at the ends and work your way up so I kind of do like a little raking method just to like break everything up and then I really go in and just like focus on detangling it and I swear y'all this product really helps with the tangles that's why I like doing it in that two-step method. Well, I mean, it says to do that on the instructions anyways. All right, we are all detangled. So, on the instructions on the back of the bottle, it says that you want to leave it in for like 10 minutes. Um, usually I kind of do like six to seven because by this time my son's like beating on the door telling me to come out the bathroom or that he needs something to drink or something. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that in and then you rinse. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse now. Okay, so now that I have my hair rinsed from that reparative hair wash, I'm going to go in with the most important step, and that's deep conditioning. Every single time I wash my hair, I deep condition. Even if I'm just co-washing, which is just rinsing my hair with conditioner, um, I always like to deep condition because um, curly hair gets so dry, you want to make sure that you're adding that moisture back. And the benefits of a deep conditioner, or at least this one anyway, is it's gonna really help to like prevent breakage, repair any damage, and really enhance growth. So 
I like to um, deep condition on the go, meaning I will um, put my deep conditioner in and um, either do like two twists or two braids and then, you know, go about my day for like a few hours and then I'll come back and um, rinse it out and then style my hair. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the deep conditioner in, I'm gonna put it in two braids and then I'm gonna go to the gym and then come back rinse it out, and then show y'all how I style my hair. So, um, you wanna be pretty generous with this stuff just to make sure that it's like all over the hair so that it can really, you know, penetrate. So, I'm gonna show y'all how I apply it. And parting it down the middle. I'm gonna wear a hat, so I don't really care if my part is crooked. down the middle like I, said, like I said take a pretty generous amount make sure I get that all throughout the head and if you don't know how to braid or do like flat twists you could totally just um, put your hair up in a bun or you could even you know put a plastic cap over your head um, sit under a hooded dryer, you know, the heat will make it penetrate into the cuticle of the hair even more. Um, but I've been doing this um, deep conditioning on the go thing for a while and it seems to work pretty well. So sometimes I even sleep with the deep conditioner in my hair if I'm washing it late at night. Um, and then in the morning I'll just, uh, I'll just rinse it out. Uh, a lot of people ask me, does my hair shed? Because theirs does. Y'all, shedding is totally normal. Um, with curly hair, it, it kind of all gets like trapped up in the curls. And then when we wash it and we're like combing it all the way through, that's when we, you know, notice all of that hair that we lost. It's totally normal. Um, but deep conditioning is going to help with that. So do not miss this step. All right, so I got my deep conditioner in. Um, I smell like blueberries. And so I'm gonna go to the gym, do a little workout, um, come back, rinse it out, and show y'all how I style my hair. Okay, so I rinsed my hair out. Um, I don't dry my hair with a towel. I kinda just like wring out all the water as best as I can because sometimes when you dry your hair with a towel or a t-shirt it kind of like just soaks up all the water and you don't want that it's best to apply your products to like damp hair so that's what I do so first I start out parting my hair into four sections First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner. I do about maybe, I do maybe about like a quarter, quarter size for each section. And you wanna make sure you really get it in there. So that's why I like to rake it through with my fingers. Or you could use a Denman brush. With the Denman brush, my curls kinda clump together a little bit too much for me, so um, since I like volume, I just use my fingers to comb it through. Alright, so then I go in with the gel. Blueberry jelly. Y'all, I love this stuff. Same thing, about a quarter size. And break it through all the way. Make sure you really get it in there good. You don't want any curl left behind, you know? So then, once I get it all the way through, I like to just scrunch it. Cool, so I'm done with that section, and then I'm gonna just use a clip to 
get that out the way. So, repeat the same thing for all the sections. So depending on whichever way you wear your hair, um, side part, middle part, bangs, you kind of want to like already have your hair in that, like train your hair to go that way. So I've been rocking the middle part lately just because um, my bangs grew out. So if I did the bangs, I wouldn't be able to see. So. I just make sure like this front part right here, you know, the product's really in there so the curls can be really defined. And I just scrunch it. So once I have all the product in there, I just flip my head upside down, do one final scrunch, and then I just don't touch my hair for however long it takes for it to dry. Um, sometimes I um, will do like a little, like a shot of cool air with the diffuser after my hair is like 90% dry. Just because if you have really thick hair, it's going to take hours to dry and nobody got time for that. Um, so usually I'll just go outside, let it air dry by itself. Or if I'm in the house, I'll just be, you know, cleaning, doing whatever I do. And then um, I'll do that cool shot of um, air with the diffuser. So. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I have all the product in there. It's all scrunched. So now I'm going to let it dry and then I guess I'll do the cool shot of air with the diffuser so that I can show y'all, you know, how much volume I get with the diffuser and that's why I like using it. But I don't like using it to dry my whole head because if that was the case, I'd be sitting here for like an hour trying to dry my hair and no, I'm not trying to do that. Okay, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay guys, so it's been a few hours. Um, this is what my hair looks like. It's still a little bit damp in the back, so I'm gonna just take like this basic hair dryer, this basic diffuser, and I'm gonna put my head upside down and blow dry it a little bit, and then I'll be back. Cool. I'll take this pick it broke in my purse but yeah just take it and just flop it up focusing it just on the roots that way you don't lose any of that definition something and don't forget to like this video so I can know that y'all actually liked it and then hopefully um, I'll be making some more videos soon let me know what you'd like to see and thanks for watching <laughs>